Hello, travelers. Glad you could make it to Morrowind. So today we're going to do that House Lalu quest right, and country. I'm having to wear this ridiculous looking mask. Oops, going the wrong way already. Um, because we need to go to Alderoon to pretend to be some dead remember. person and pick up a package while we're there using the a secret code friend. word. And I am going to be lazy and use our Mage's Guild travel. Okay. And see, the problem is, is that they didn't really specify where in Alderoon this person is. And I don't remember. I think in the conversation they actually did say where the person is, but I didn't have a good enough memory for that. And the journal didn't record it. So here we are. I'm just going to have to basically talk to yeah, every I single person know. up in this joint until somebody hopefully tells me. You know, I think I'm going to try to keep it in third person just so we can admire this lovely, this lovely helm they've given me. This, uh, Redoran person that I'm dressed up as had a uh, great fashion sense, I assume. Okay, who do we want to talk to first? I really wish that I had remembered more. Let's see, I think there's a tavern of some kind here somewhere rat in the pot yeah that's the one I feel like a tavern would be a good place to start I guess we go up you there I'm Dro Tassar commoner welcome to Aldrun the district seat of house rhetoric are you looking for someone in particular let's see all six Red Inland counselors. We've got Barara Morvane, Loren Ramoran, Athen Sorethi, Garissa Lorethri. Uh, okay, so it's not them. Not the Mages Guild. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I heard Bolvin Venom was having an affair with the wife of one of the other counselors. By your accent, I can tell you are an outlander. Why, does my character canonically not sound like I've smoked 20 packs a day? Okay, well. What do you want? What about you? So you're also a commoner. Are you going to tell me about someone sleeping with someone's wife, too? Maybe it's the weather. Huh. Could be. I feel like none of these guys are going to actually tell me where this person is. See, I'm just... I really don't remember enough from that conversation to understand why I have to be disguised as a dead person. It's not you. It's not... Angoth. Are you at all related to Fargoth? <laughs> wow. Want to join the Thieves Guild? You're just right out there. Advancement. Why would I be able to talk to you about advancement? What's your background? Do a little of this and a little of that. Hmm. From where do you hail? Okay, we will continue our search. Oh, wait. Oh, um, hello. Hi, that is, uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you, um, Serafina. For a second, I, uh, I thought you were the courier with, a, a message, that is, with word of, um, my airship? Wait, is that it? Up there in the sky, there. Oh, no, it's just a uh, um, cliff racer. Um, yes. Um, you are sus, my friend. 
What do you mean an airship? I built an airship, you see. Quite a um, beautiful craft, if I may be so bold. Some scavenged Dwemer, Dwemer equipment uh, parts. A few, you know, uh, long-lasting levitation spells. Very clever. A capital idea, I know. Even hired a gang of, well, a crew, I guess you'd call them. They were to fly far to the north, away from all this dust, to Solstein. I paid them, paid them rather well. They were to locate Grotham's Barrow and find a certain, um, item. Sparrow is a grave, well, crypt. It is said to lie, that is, the barrow, is at the eye of the wolf. There's a formation, you see, rock, ice, that sort of thing, shaped like a wolf. The wolf that killed Rothmund. He said to, um, entomb the wolf's eye. It's only visible from the sky, or, well, an airship. That's why I built it. Built the airship, hire the crew, they find the barrow and recover the amulet, then they bring it to me. Perfect plan, I thought. They were to recover, that is, bring me a special amulet. According to stories, legends and such, Rothman was quite the... Well, he had plenty of lady friends. He was ugly. Too ugly as a troll, but he had a magic trinker, trinket. He wore it. The Amulet of Infectious Charm, it was called. By all records, he was buried with it. That's why I thought the airship hired the crew. I just, I must have that amulet, Seraphina. But there's been no word. I worry. I fear the crew has failed me. Hmm. Oh, man. I mean, at least they give you an option to take uh, quests or not at <clears throat> Skyrim, looking at you. But, oh, my gosh. I just, I need, <laughs> I need more quests. I need to know more about Morrowind. All right. You might have to wait, Louis. Luis, however you say your name. But I think you have a deal. I'll eventually head to Solstein. Um... Although I can't promise you that I'm actually going to bring back the amulet. I might be keeping that amulet as co collateral for uh, risking my life over there since I'm still only level six and I don't know how well that's going to go. Um, but I can report to you on the state of your airship. So why not? Oh, well, that's fine. I, I, I understand. Wait, did you say you would help me? Why, that's, that's splendid. I mean, a wonderful. As I said, the airship is, well, was headed north to Solstein. The Amulet of Infectious Charm is, well, it's supposed to be at, that is, in Rothman's Barrow. At the Eye of the Beast, the wolf, I mean. But you must, must say the wolf's name to enter. Say, Anjage, answer wrong, and the barrel will be sealed forever. Oh, that's interesting. I've never once actually tried talking to him. That quest was waiting for me there all along. Okay, wait. Can Hold we up. Hurry this up. Oh god, okay. I know you're an officer of the Imperial Law, but I have questions. Um, okay. Oh, okay, so the person we want is in the Rhetoric Council, so that's kind of what I was thinking in the first place. Now I just have to remember. Oh, pretty sure that's the Rhetoric Council. In fact, I think this is that funky ass place that I had a hell of a time trying to find the alchemist, I think it was, to get the Talvani bug musk. Okay, Redoran Council entrance. 
Just take a moment to appreciate what a strange structure this is. Like how you would have to climb up here to actually get in there. All right, now I need to find Aminda. You're just guards. What is it, Outlander? Ah, it's you. Okay. If you want something, now's the time to talk. So I'm assuming that they don't realize that this person is dead. And that's why this whole getup is working. <laughs> Excuse me. What can I do for you? I am a orphan of Arnesia. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, certainly, Romaria. Here are your orders. They are in code, of course. Deliver them to Margon as usual. Okay, so now I don't think I'm going to be actually doing that. She gave me a scroll. But yeah, I should deliver the scroll to... Okay, yeah, so we're going to go... Back to Balmora, in fact. Okay, we are back. I want to take this thing off because it looks goofy. All right, let's go collect our prize for doing this. Do you have a copy of Naminda's orders? Yes, here it is. That's exactly what I wanted. Good work, Serafina. Keep the helm and take 500 drakes for a job well done. All right, see, that is more like it. But I think before I pick up another quest from I these don't guys, know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. I'm going to. Whoops. Consult the journal. So now we have a decision. There are obviously many things that I've been wanting to do. One of them has been wanting to join the Morag Tong because I know for a fact that they pay well. And I've been thinking it'd be really fun to try and do um, those quests, <laughs> uh, those <laughs> contracts, if you will, as a mage instead of as a warrior. Because I've never done that before in any kind of Dark Brotherhood type playthrough. Even in Skyrim, I've always used the more either stealth archer or dagger type approach. And I think that would be really interesting to try it that way, especially since the Morag Tong kills don't necessarily seem like they actually need um, the Morag Tong kills don't seem like they actually need stealth since they are sanctioned. So just as soon as you finish you just show the guard your uh, Ron, Ron Swanson style papers of I'm allowed to do this and you're off free and I don't know where Is I'm going right now. So we definitely have a decision to make here of doing either another quest from them, from House Lalu I mean, or I could try to do some more mages guild quests either from Balmora or another one of the mages guilds or I could also let me guess you're not going to take this right because it's your friend in here that buys the armor you are the oh shit well I guess we're going to go take a nap first joining the Morag Tong seeing what they have for us to do or I could take care of one of the many quests that's already in my log, which is what I actually should do. And I even have a few different options there. Let's see, let's sleep until, shit, I don't know when their store is open, about 8 a.m. So I still have to figure out what the deal with that silver bowl is. But heading to Solstein sounds pretty dang interesting at this point. I might be a miserable fail. And I think because I already started doing something else for this episode, that it would be better Three to blessings, um, start off with the bowl thing and then maybe next episode aim for Solstein. Uh, what else do I have that you might be able to take? 
probably it. Twenty six, and what's it worth? Eighty. I keep forgetting to charm my patrons first. So let's see. Let's do. Just uh, come around the corner for no reason, no reason at all that I'm about to get really close to you. This better be important. And a little of that. And that back on just in case what are we at now just gonna see how many times i can do this do you 90 hot damn okay now how much do you want to give me for this ugly thing well that was a lot of magic just for a very little up in price um see if i can get 50 out of him damn it okay 45 Seriously, you like me that much? Okay, moving on. See, why would I have an actually good personality when I can just make people think that I have a good... Oh, I can make that move? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I don't know why I was so amused by that. All right. So, the silver bowl. I let's go back to Pelagiad, which I think I can use. I see I stand in good company. Mage's Guild travel for that. So the mistake I made last time is that I didn't get the better I'm directions that I think the game patience. was trying to elude that I needed from someone that apparently knows the person that owns the bowl better. So the only directions I had was to head east, past the Dren Plantation, over some lake, and I tried that and I ended up in Saran instead. And don't really know like how far east I was supposed to be going, but by the time I got to Saran, I figured that that was too far. And so let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go to... What made me think I could go to Pelagiad? Okay, well, I guess we will take a Salt Strider instead, then. Oh, I can't go to Pelagiad. Well, never mind. I guess I'm walking there Why anyway. walk when you can ride? Why walk when I can ride? Well, I have to walk when I could ride when you guys don't ride where I want to walk. All right, we're back in Pelagiad, and I think that person that knows the person with the silver yes. bowl better and can give possibly better directions was someone in the Mages Guild. Looked through my journal, and there's nothing in particular there, so... I think her name was, like, Ikra, or something that started with a Y. You seem to be doing all right for yourself. What can I do for you? Oh. Ah, greetings. What shall we talk about? Hopefully, I won't have to just check this whole dang town. Well, hello there. A pleasure to meet I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna have to do. Ooh, maybe guards seem to be Your my good luck charm. Show promise. What do you want? Ah, the bowl. Okay. She lives in a farm to the east. Yes, perhaps you should speak with her. So it's a friend of Yigfa, the healer at the... F okay, so at the fort. Okay. You think this is the fort? Ah. Healer's bed. See, that would make sense on the first floor. Okay, what do you know about this silver bowl lady? Hmm. 
My friend had a silver bowl stolen. This must be the same one. You must go speak with her. Best if you start from a familiar landmark, the north entrance to the foreign quarter of Avec. The foreign quarter of Avec? Excuse me? Why would I go there? Wait, okay. Due north from the bridge to the foreign quarter of Avec is an east-west rope bridge across a lagoon. Cross the bridge east, then follow the path as it leads north. You'll pass her farmhouse on the left, and the next house north will be, oh, will be her farmhouse. Well, good lord. God, I'm glad I did come back. I never would have figured that out. Okay, I want to know, those are very different directions from just going east past the Dren Plantation, and then east past some lake. Oh, so I have to go to Vivec anyway? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Oops. Please tell me that those directions... Okay, good. Well, at least those directions are in my journal. Well, this quest is starting to become a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. I guess it depends on if I can fast travel to the... Ooh, trapdoor? Hey, uh, you wouldn't mind if I just take a look down here, right? Cool with that? A quick save, just in case. In fact, I think I'm going to sneak. Oh, don't do that. Let's see. Probably be practically right on top of it. Okay, they can't see me. Let's Is that all this down here? Is just people's beds? You really have to have like a locked trap door just for some bedrooms? Ooh. I don't think I need to be sneaking anymore since he's down here. Fortify strength. I don't really want to bother taking that. The Affairs of Wizards. Oh, cool. That is one of the books that I remember stealing with Adhara over in Telbranora that Adhara still has somewhere. Oh, that looks like good steak. I don't really need that. And now I have it again. I think that's the kind of book that I would want to keep, even though I probably could read it for free somewhere. Like, I hear that there is a library in Vivek, which I have also yet to check out. Oh, that was very worthwhile. Hope that wasn't your book I stole. Yeah, too late to be looking back there now. Oh, wait, forgot. I actually came here for fast travel. Okay, you don't nice do fast travel. You. I'm guessing nobody here does fast travel cuz maybe you guys are too small first the vision then the conjuration this is unsettling well what have we here all right i'll just let you mumble to yourself what's this book I'm baron zaya hmm. okay well Okay. So. Okay, that must be the bridge, or was it a rope bridge? What am I supposed to do when I get to the bridge? Across a lagoon. Across the bridge east. Well, that at least is east. Okay. Okay, and then after... And follow the path as it heads north. So I'm going to pass Nalura's farmhouse on the left. And then the next house will be the person I'm actually looking for. Oh, maybe that's it there? 
probably making this way more complicated than it needs to be just because I don't really understand directions that well maybe it's not so much that I don't understand them I just don't remember them for very long my short term memory is pretty trash alright are you Nalura? okay good you are Nalura. sweet so then that one should be No, I could have sworn that I passed this area when I was looking before, did I not? Well, this must be her. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think I have your bowl. That's what I said. A silver bowl given to my husband disappeared from my house recently. Do you know what happened to it? Yeah, I found it. That dis that ha blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that bowl disappeared from my house while I was visiting friends at Fort Pelagia. My husband, he's an officer in the Legion serving in Argonia, received the bowl as a gift from Grateful East Empire company merchants. His file was escorting a company courier when they were overwhelmed by bandits. But my husband slew the bandit chief and drove the bandits away. Were you planning to return the bowl to me? I mean, I was expecting a reward. Ah, what the hell. Take it. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me and my husband. I'm sorry, I'm just a poor farmer and have little to offer as a reward. But I've lived here for years, and my husband and I have many friends. Perhaps I can offer you some valuable advice on how to get best value for your goods. And can I introduce you to a good friend at Fort Pelagiad? Yigfa is a healer and Imperial Cult adept. She might try to get you to join the Imperial Cult, but that's not a bad thing. Well, alright. Well, that's not too bad. Getting a skill increase. I'll take that. Especially since you're a poor farmer. I get a little bit more miffed when I don't get better quest rewards from guild masters. Wait, let's see. So you said you were going to give me advice. I've never seen a successful adventurer who didn't carry a couple of divine intervention scrolls with him on long expedition. Two reasons. Emergency exit. And it lets you move a lot more loot than you can carry on foot. And faster goes without saying. You know, I never thought of that, being able to just teleport yourself back and forth from somewhere to get loot back and forth. It's not a bad idea. Um, what about a secret? Okay, we already know that about the Daedric Shrines. And uh, the Nerevarine Prophecy. Well, oh, okay. Okay. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't too bad. So now we can cross that whole bowl thing off our list. But so, what do we, what do we actually do if we go see Igfa? Hmm. Well, I don't really want to join the Imperial Cult with this character. Let's see, are there any other random quests that I can do to kind of tie up loose ends? I think there was some other one. Yeah, that Necromancer. That's probably a whole quest in its own. I guess I'll recall. Okay, this is interesting. So I found the town of Margon, and now I'm trying to find the Tashpi person. And talking to this armorer guy about necromancy, and he says that Tashpi is not a necromancer. Who have you been talking to? So she lives in the last house on the right before the shrine. Okay, last house on the right before the shrine. I don't really need that up anymore. 
How do you know she's not a necromancer, huh? I've actually got some pretty cool clothes Why on. are you here? Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm supposed to be here to kill Tashby, who may or may not be a necromancer, I guess. Ah. All right. Where is this person? I wonder if I can just talk to her instead. So, have you been up to some necromancy? Who said I was a necromancer? Oh, I see. While I refused to join the Mages Guild, I chose to practice healing among my people, away from the politics of the Guild. Since I was a Velothi and not well-born, like Rannis, well, it's not important now. Maybe I know a way out of this situation. Hmm, tell me more. If Rannis has held a grudge this long, it would be best for me to leave for, th for the mainland. There are plenty of towns I could use a healer. Tell Rannis that I am dead. I will leave Vardenfell, and Rannis need never know. Oh, that was easy. That's really nice that you get these... Uh, that Morwen kind of gives you, you these mean? different ways to solve these problems. Because even if she was a necromancer, my character honestly could care less and kind of agrees that at least with Rannis, she seems a little bit uptight and grudgy, even if she probably has some reasons and backstory for that. Um, you know, I'm all for helping people just pull one over on Rannis. Maybe I'm developing a bit of a grudge with Rannis. And now... I can just recall... Back to Balmora. I always forget which side of town I'm on. Oop, that's, that's somebody's dwelling. I think finishing up this quest will be the last thing for today. And then I'll have a lot of the random quests that I had done so that next time we can try out going to Solstein. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Please talk. Did you kill the Necromancer? <coughs> um, yes, I did. She is truly dead. You have done me, the guild, that is, a great service. These scrolls should help you deal with any necromancers you find. Oh, sweet, some more. See, this is more like it. Fourth barrier. I've never heard of that before. Do I get any advancement yet? Conjurer. I have to pay some dues. So not, okay, so now you guys want money from me. Do I even? Oh, fine. Why not? Now I'm a conjurer. Great. <laughs> Wait, so how, how many times can I... Hasn't paid their dues. How many times can I advance? Spectre of a magician. Okay, well. Let's see what that scroll of four something. Scroll of the Druid. Now well, I picked that up somewhere else. Mental fire. Didn't one of those things have something to do with... Oh yeah, the fourth barrier. Shield. Okay. I'll take that. Well, that's more like it. I still don't feel bad about lying to you. Lying... Yeah, lying to you. For someone else. Because what you don't know won't hurt you. Let's see. What other kind of random quests do I have? So I know I got some of those that had to do with like the Legion forts and things. So he wants to talk to me about an unspecified subject. Hmm. 
I hear that the magistrate is on the take, but he has important friends who can protect him. The Legion champion has sworn an oath, but it's not clear how he can deal with the situation. And I feel like my character just kind of wants to stay out of anything that has to do with the Legion for now. So maybe at some point we'll look into those, but for now, we're going to focus on going to Solstein for our next quest. So as always, thank you for watching, if you, especially if you made it this far, and I will see you on Solstein in the next one. Bye for now.